Hello, hello, hello. It's your Wisconsin wine guy. I'm back with another wine review. These are wines that you find on your everyday shelves of grocery stores, liquor stores, and some wine shops. I do a very, very simple grading system here. Thumbs up, meaning I highly recommend this wine. Three quarters, I meaning you know I wouldn't turn it down because at a party I drink it. Uh, halfway, you know, it's not for me, but you give it a try. Let me know what you think. And thumbs down, simply get that wine out of here. Don't even bother. So on today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing da -da -da -da, White Pinot Grigio by Folinari. Now, if you recall, on I think part was 2018's reviews, I did Folinari Pinot Grigio in the box. You know, so you can look back at that and uh, find out what I said about that. So let's see how the Folinari in the bottle compares to what it was in the box. So here we go. So let's give it a pour. Now again, I open the wine a day or two days, depending on the wine. Give it a chance to breathe. I do it with all wines. And of course, you notice the screw cap. I do it with all wines. All wines are tasted the same. I use the same size glass, tasting glass, 10 and a half ounce tasting glass. So everything's the same. I remain consistent. So I'll give it a swirl. Mm, and it knows, okay. Now, this come right out of the refrigerator. So I want to give it a chance to warm up just a little bit to get more of the bouquet. Release more of the aromatics, I should say. <clears throat> so, now I look for the Pinot Grigio myself. I want something that has a little bit of nice citrus, nice mouth-watering acidity, nice citrus or lemon or lemon peel flavor, and a little bit of apple I like to for my Pinot Grigios, especially coming from Italy. All right, so now on this nose here, citrusy on the nose, more citrusy on the nose than anything else. Let's give it a rinse. So I want you to check out the color of that, you know, you can't tell there, but it's a, a golden hue, you know, I'm not, but clear above the rim. So that would say, you know, like a kind of greenish, actually, and that's not even a bottle, so kind of a greenish color, but light, all right? So that was a Ritz, you know, and my mouth's not watering like crazy, you know, so uh, it's kind of shy on acidity here, but maybe on the second one, uh, it'll be a little bit better. Here we go. Okay, now what I do like about this, there's the acidity. It's very soft on acidity, but it's there. What I do like about it, however, is that it is dry, you know, so I enjoy that. Um, not big on flavor, you know, but uh, subtle apple notes, you know, more like a, uh, a Granny Smith subtle apple notes, you know, a little bit of lemon. And more of the peel. You know, uh, very, very light, very light. So for the summer, you know, I think it would be a fantastic wine, fantastic wine to make a cigarette of, you know. But I'm going to give it a three quarters. You know, I wouldn't turn it down if this wine was being poured at a party. I would drink it. Heck, if I sit in a store, I may even buy it. But I'll give it a three quarters, you know, uh, give it a try. I'd like to know what you think about it. So that is the Folinari. Folinari out of the bottle, not the box this time, 2016 Pinot Grigio. And it's your Wisconsin wine guy saying, as always, let your palate be the guide when selecting your next wine. I'll see you next time. Bye.